Lord Vader is most displeased with your apparent lack of progress in Photoshop. So he sent me here to teach you a lesson. I'm now going to show you how to create animated perspective 3D text like the intro in Star Wars. So let's go. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with a blank document. We're just going to choose File New. And uh, we're just going to choose a 2 by 3 photo. That'll work quite well. So there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill this background with black because that's the color that we use for the Star Wars text. So right now the background color is set to black. So to fill it, we're just going to hit Command, and that would be Control on Window and Backspace, and that will fill with the background color. Let me just change this here back to a slightly medium gray just so we can see a little bit better what's going on on the screen. All right, that's looking good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our text. So we're going to grab our type tool here. And I've selected a yellow color because this is the color used in Star Wars. So you can see the color right there. Just grab that. It's F-F-E-A-O-O -O, or just grab whatever you see here. Just a bright yellow and click OK. Now I'm going to click and drag here to create a text area. But I'm going to make this text area a little bit bigger than what you see on the screen. And now we're going to put some text in there. So I previously created some. So I'm just going to Control V or Command V. And I'm going to post this in here. So you can see it's a little bit cheesy. Um, so this is episode whatever of Photoshop Cafe Toots on how to make Star Wars style animated crawling text in perspective. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to show you. I'm not going to read the whole thing. You can read. All right. So what I'm going to do is, you know, I've seen other tutorials out there where people have shown how to create the Star Wars style. But I haven't seen one where it actually shows how to animate it in perspective like on Star Wars. And we're going to do that right here inside of Photoshop using some trickery and a little bit of the power of the force. So what we've got here is text. And what I'm using for the font here is Franklin Gothic Medium. So Franklin Gothic is the actual type that they use in Star Wars credits. So there we go. So we've got this nice credit here. And what I want to do is I'm going to show you how to animate this. Now, here's the thing. If I go in here and I try to take this text and I hit Control T or Command T and I right click, notice it doesn't give me the perspective option. So you can't do it that way. I don't want to rasterize the text because if you rasterize the text, you lose the crispness that is the font. So I've got a little secret squirrel um, tip here that's going to work really well. Uh, in the past, I did a lot of work in Flash and some After Effects work as well. And I've been able to bring some of that uh, flash knowledge over here into Photoshop and I can uh, approach it in the same way to create some really cool stuff with animations and video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, I'm going to right click on here on our text and I'm going to convert this to a smart object. All right, so now we have a smart object. So I'm just going to hit Control T and for that's Command T on Mac for free transform. We're going to go in here and we're going to right click. And now we're going to choose perspective. So now I can go here and I can create this perspective text like you would see in Star Wars. All right. And I'm just going to hit enter. So now we've got the perspective text. But how do we animate it? Because if I'm just going to take it here and move it up like this, that's not really doing the whole Star Wars thing. So we need to be a little bit more tricky than that. In fact, I'm going to hit Control T, Command T. And I'm going to go back again into perspective and I'm going to push it even more. Let's really make this really strong perspective. There we go. That looks a little bit more like what you would see on Star Wars. All right. So now comes the trickery. What we want to do is animate this. So I'm going to go up under window and I'm going to open up my timeline. So let's go to the timeline here. And you'll see you have an option to create a video timeline. So I'm going to do that right now. And if you see there, we've got a video timeline right there that we could go in now and we can animate this. However, if I try to animate it right here like it is right now, it's not going to work. It's not going to work at all. So here's where the trickery goes in. Because I put this inside a smart object, when we create a smart object, what it does is it actually creates a nested object, just like we used to do with symbols inside of Flash. Don't worry if you don't understand. Um, I'm going to show you right now how to animate this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the smart object double click 
And whenever you have a smart object, what it does is it creates in another window the contents of a smart object. You probably already know that. But what you might not know is that you can do a nested animation. That's an animation within an animation. So if we go down here and we choose Create Video Timeline, we can create a brand new video timeline. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this up. And I'm going to pull this text down. I'm just going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to pull this text. So the very, very first um, type is showing. In fact, I'm going to take it past this. You can't see it anymore. And we're going to hit this little arrow and hit transform. Now, just to let you know, this will only work on CS6 or CC. So if you have an earlier version, I'm sorry, it's not going to work for you. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move our timeline or our play here to the very end of our timeline. And now I'm going to pull the text up. I'm going to hold down the shift key and pull it all the way up until we can see it just kind of scrolling through right there. All right. So let's see what has happened here. All right. So I've actually created an animation now. If we hit the space bar, you can see there's our animation going right there. By the way, if you're still watching this and you're liking this, hit that like button. So there we go, that's going good. Now I'm going to show you something that's going to make you want to hit the subscribe button. So let's go in here. If I hit Control S for save and close this, whatever we do there gets saved into Photoshop. Now this is going to make you want to subscribe. So I'm going to hit the space bar and look at this. There is our animated Star Wars text. So I hope you like that. And uh, there we go. And if we want to put this on repeat, we can actually do that. We can just uh, right click here and we could choo choose to loop it if we want it, just so you can see it again. So we can hit loop playback and that'll keep going. So now it's going a little faster because it's loaded in. So, so there we go. So by using the power of the force and some trickery, we were able to create an animated Star Wars introduction inside of Photoshop. So don't forget, Hit that subscribe button and I'll get you a new tutorial every week. Check out photoshopcafe.com for a bunch of great resources. Add a comment. I hope you're having fun. I hope you saw Star Wars, which uh, I did. Absolutely loved it. No spoilers here. Um, so until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.